A concerning trend continues tonight as the Greater Toronto Area is once again responsible for the vast majority of the province's new coronavirus cases. 170 new infections are being reported today. 69% of them are coming from just four health units in the GTA. Toronto is confirming 55 new cases, while York is reporting a significant spike with 28 infections. Both Peel and Durham Region also have double-digit caseloads. 44% of the new patients are in their 20s or 30s. And the 170 new cases mark a slight increase from the 149 new cases. With the trends we've been seeing in recent weeks. This is the 15th straight day Ontario has seen more than 100 new infections. One additional death has also been recorded. And Premier Ford was asked yet again about the rise in numbers and if certain regions will have to face further restrictions. He says the situation is being watched very closely. Once it gets to a certain point, uh, the, the chief medical officer of Ontario, Dr. Williams, will be advising us uh, the next step. But uh, right now, we're keeping an eye on the ball. I just ask people out there in those, those large uh, regions, guys, avoid parties. Because what I'm hearing, Matt, it's not coming from bars, it's not coming from restaurants, it's coming from large gatherings, be it weddings or parties or, or wherever. But uh, we have to be vigilant. We can't let our guard down for a second. The Premier also said the province is looking to clear the backlog for surgeries. He estimates about 180,000 were cancelled so hospitals could deal with a potential sudden surge, which never materialized. One way being explored to clear the backlog, according to the Premier, is to get surgeons to work on weekends. And when asked about problems with police being able to enforce people breaking the rules around quarantine, around the Quarantine Act, the Premier said he is looking to the federal government to help find a solution. The system's broken. You can't have 623. There's actually 4,800 in total that they checked on. 622, they felt broke the rules, and 17 got charged. So... You know, I got to work with the feds because what happens, it has to go go up to the federal government, uh, to one of their uh, officers up there, and then they say yay or nay. But, you know, we can't have our police running around and seeing p people breaking quarantine and nothing happens to them, a slap on the wrist. It, it turns into be a joke. And when the Premier was asked about the pause that was put in place for loosening any further public health restrictions, and if that will impact gatherings around Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving and even children going trick-or-treating for Halloween, he said he feels nervous about kids going door-to-door, -door, but he will play it by ear. The Premier also says he will take the advice of his health team to make recommendations.